Hi, and welcome to iSpeak's PowerPoint Tips and Tricks. Today's module is titled Transparency. How many times have we wanted to focus an audience when we have a busy slide, or maybe when we've got a lot of information that we need to share, but we don't want the audience reading ahead? Let me give you a couple of examples. Let's say you had a really busy slide. This is one of the busiest I've ever seen. But you had to walk your audience through this process. We could highlight an area like we've got here in the lower right corner, then dive into that on the next slide. Now the audience isn't distracted by all the other information. When we're done, we go back to the big picture and then we highlight another area and we're able to focus the audience there. Now, how do we do that? We start by inserting a shape. We're gonna go to insert, shape, and I'm going to choose the oval. And I'm gonna come down here to the lower right corner of the screen, and I'm going to highlight the area that I'm eventually wanting to highlight. Next, I'm going to change that shape fill to yellow. So I'm gonna select the shape, go to shape format on my menu bar, drop down the shape fill color options, and here I'm gonna choose yellow. I'm gonna do the same thing with the shape outline. I'm gonna choose red, I'm gonna go back to outline, and I'm gonna change the weight just a little bit thicker so we're able to identify that. And then next, we're going to now change it to be transparent. Here's how we do that. We're going to right click on that object. We're gonna go down here to where it says format shape. Now, once I format the shape, it's gonna open up that window over there on the right side of the screen. I'm going to expand the fill section. And this is where we're gonna see the transparency option. I have three options here. I can either grab that bar, click and drag it. I can use the up arrow, down arrow, or I can type a number. I have found that when I want the audience to see through the object, like we do here, 80% is about where I wanna look. When I wanna cover something up, which I'll show you an example of in just a minute, I'll use something more like 20%. So that's how we're going to change this object and make it transparent. I'm going to move it down here, make sure that it's covering up that area. The last thing I'll do is I'll go up to animations on my menu bar and I'll have it fade in on click. And then I can show that busy slide, click my clicker, and then highlight that area in the lower right corner. Now there's other uses for the transparency. Let me give you another example. If you've ever tried to put text on a very busy picture like this one, how to open a presentation. This is from our corporate ovations workshop. I wanna draw attention to the title because it gets lost in the picture. So I'm gonna to go to insert shapes and here I'm gonna choose the rectangle. And I'm gonna draw a rectangle over that text. I'm gonna change the fill shape, fill color to something more gray. And then we're gonna go back to right click format shape, and I'm gonna change that transparency to where we can see through that shape just slightly. I'm gonna go with about 20%. And then I'm going to go to the menu up here and I'm gonna send that shape backwards so it's behind the text, close that window, and that would be the way to draw the attention to that title. It's got a little bit of transparency so you can see through it so it's not a solid object. Now, the other option on this particular example is we could change the picture to be transparent. Let's look at how to do that. We're going to right click on the desktop, choose format picture, and then we're gonna see the transparency object option underneath picture transparency. So here's how I do that. I'm going to right click on that picture, the big picture that's taking up the whole slide. Go down here to where it says format picture, and then over here, all of my options, I'm gonna to go to this far right where it says picture. And this is where picture transparency is. And this is where I'll play with that. And I'll lighten that background to where it has just enough. I'm gonna go with about 60% here, 65%. And that is going to be able to draw attention to the title, yet you can still see the picture in the background. So I kind of like the way that is drawing attention to the title. So two different options that we've looked at. Another way that I'll use the transparency is to cover up something I don't want the audience to look at. For example, in this 
very generic QBR, quarterly business review. I'll go to insert, shapes, rectangle, and I'm going to draw a rectangle to cover up everything over here on the right side of the screen. Again, the default color is blue. I'm gonna go up here and change that to white. I'm gonna take my shape outline and I'm gonna say no outline. I don't want an outline on that box. I'm gonna right click on it, go down to format shape. And again, I'm gonna change the transparency to where you can see through it, but not enough to where you're wanting to read it. You know I'm covering it up. I'll close that format shape when I'm finished. Go up to animations, have that fade in on click. And so now I'll show the audience the entire QBR. When I click, it covers up the right side of the screen, drawing their focus to the left where we can talk about performance and action plan. Another example of this is where I'm going to introduce the audience to three different topics. We're going to learn how to prepare, how to develop, and how to deliver a presentation. What I would do is two things here. First, I would make the first object larger, so it draws attention to it. And then the second thing I'm going to do is put that white transparent box over the other two areas. And so then on click, it'll cover those up, draw our attention to where we're gonna go. So this is how I would use that as the example. I speak offers a variety of public speaking and enhanced communication workshops. We hope you're able to attend one of our sessions in the future. Please connect with us on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. We look forward to seeing you in an instructor-led or a virtual-led workshop.